Welcome or welcome back to my channel, as you'll notice the nature of my videos are usually indicated on the intro. As today's topic is 911 calls, the events and audio from real life emergency calls will be played and may be upsetting for some so viewer discretion is advised. If you enjoy this type of content please hit that like button, comment and subscribe, with your support I can ensure regular content and if you have a subject you'd like me to cover then let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to mention a few that recommended the subject. With that said, let's dive in. This tragic case involves a man with a mental illness and diagnosed bipolar and didn't get his meds in time, resulting in him running into oncoming traffic as his terrified wife pleads with him to stop and pleads for the police to come fast. Police do finally arrive, but with tragic results. 911, what is the address of your emergency? I'm on the freeway um, between Hurricane and Colorado City. Going, okay, so you're on SR 59, I believe? Yes. Okay. And my, what my husband, I don't know. I'm pulled over in the road. My husband's in the middle of the road having a serious, like, psychosis. Okay, do you know what mile marker at all? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, and is he being violent right now? He's in the, he's taking his clothes off, he's running in the street. What's the, what's the phone number you're calling from, in case we get disconnected? Uh, um, area code Codvin. Okay. Brian, pick up your shirt. I can't. He told you got it, you got it, got to the flag. Oh, okay, hard. and what is he saying? What's he doing? He's freaking out. Okay, he's you just know, freaking you know out. What's going on? No, no! How old is he? Oh my god! No, please, just I'm afraid he's gonna jump in front of a car or he's something. Trying to jump in front of a car? Stop! Stop! Please stop! 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 Stop!
injured your daughter at all? I know. No. Not, but he's scared. Is, is anybody scared? No, Brian. Stop. I go. I want to sit. Where do I see a stop sign? No. Keep your pants. Just sit down. Just sit down. Brian, go I'm not going to. to know that the right people are coming. They're coming as fast as they can. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I can't do this. What I don't know. And, and what color and type of car do you have? I'm pulled over on the side of the road in a gray Toyota Matrix. I'm a drill sergeant! Okay, a gray Toyota Matrix. Were you heading towards Hurricane or towards Colorado City? Towards Colorado City. I want you, if it's if it's safe to do so, I want you to observe him continuously. All right? Oh, I can't help you. I can't help you. California, San Diego, and his mom and dad. No. And if it's safe. Anne, are you there? No, I'm not. No, you are not getting in this car. Stay out of the road. No, stay out of the road. Stay 
baby. Ann, are you in the car? No, I'm out. My daughter's in the car. I can't do this. Okay. Right. I need. I need. I need you to try to spell your last name for me. It's very garbled over the cell phone. Okay? C A R C A L L. A L L. Okay. Yeah. No, no, you don't get no. No, Brian. Just put your pants and your shirt on, please. She's in the. She's in the car. And what is your home address? And what is your home address? I'm, we live in Flagstaff, Arizona. Flagstaff, okay. Can you give me your address? Yes. Leighton Cardell, born 1976, and 32 at the time, was pronounced dead at the scene after being tasered by police officers on a highway near Hurricane Utah on June 9, 2009 from a heart attack. It just about does it. Thank you so much for watching and if this type of content is up your street, please be kind enough to hit that subscribe button, like and share and turn on all notifications. Thank you for your continuing support.
that just about does it. Thank you so much for watching and if this type of content is up your street, please be kind enough to hit that subscribe button, like and share and turn on all notifications. Thank you for your continuing support.